Hi, Supertruce here, Battler Distance Incremental Video, Episode 7, and you see where I've left off? One more of these resets will lead to me unlocking pathogens. And it seems like at this point, I feel like this is the end game at, at one point of Distance Incremental, but then it got expanded when pathogens became a thing. So here we go. Three, two, one, bam. So this is, okay, let's see. It says, unlock pathogens, maximum velocity is 60% higher. And is this a reset? No, it's not a reset. I, I really thought that was a reset, actually. I need E128 universes to unlock dark circles. Yay. So I have five pathogens. I'm getting about 0.32 per second. I have seen this pyramid of upgrades. Um, it's it maybe it seems sort of like a time study build but not really. And time reversal upgrade two is boosted by our pathogens. So it's boosted by, oh, they're repeatable. Hmm, interesting. I, I, I didn't know they were repeatable. I thought, thought it was just, you would get it once each. So that, that's interesting. It's boosted by 70, 75%. And what is this? It's this one. Time goes by, okay, I, I need to reverse time. So now, yeah, time is now going much faster, which should allow me to gain more cadavers. Maybe I should, I should actually sacrifice into life essence to gain a little more cadavers. I'm not exactly sure how useful that'd be. Uh, it no, doesn't seem like the most useful thing, but it, it at least doing something. And my pathogen, my pathogens are not resetting. So, yeah, I, I'm guessing I'll just keep getting these upgrades. I really thought this was a prestige layer. For some reason, I really thought Pathogens was a prestige layer. But no, it's not. So maybe I should try for a million cadavers. That's what I am I feel like I could try for. And also, I just want to see how much rocket fuel I'll be able to get. Like, I can already gain four rocket fuel here, and now it's soft capped. Yeah, everything in this game is getting soft capped. That is a meme in this, in the Discord server in this game. Everything is getting soft capped, and the onslaught has only begun with the soft capped thing. <laughs> yeah, soft capped in parentheses. So yeah, that, that's what I'll have to deal with. I'm up to about half a million cadavers. Let's see, I have eleven, only eleven rocket fuel. I could definitely get more if I just, you know. Um, like actually like do this to gain rockets. I have no idea why it's resetting like a couple times even though I have some even though I have these universal collapse upgrades on me. I, sh yeah, I should definitely get these time cubes and then and let's see how much I can get. I can get 15 rocket fuel maybe even a little more 16 rocket fuel. Is that going to allow me to get any more? That's not really going to give me a lot more Cadavers. Not really sure what the pathogen gain is based on. I feel like it's somehow based on like I'm actually really not sure. Maybe it's based on like some of the automation stuff, like scraps and intelligence. Speaking of that, I should probably just max all for this, max all for that, and max all for that as well. So that should allow me to um, gain cadavers even faster. And maybe I can just get up to about a million. That's what I feel like I should do. And 800,000. Probably this will get me to 900,000. Just two more runs to get me to a million. 950,000. And boom. One million cadavers. Doesn't really do much, but maybe it'll do something. So I guess I just want to keep building up pathogens. That's what I feel like I want to do. There's also rocket gain is boosted by your cadavers and time cube gain is boosted by your cadavers. I think rocket gain is a little more useful than time cubes. And also maximum velocity is boosted by your pathogens. I'm not really sure how much it does. There's also boost pathogen gain. So that's interesting. And the transfer from cadavers to life essence is more efficient. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it'll do something. This is the rocket gain. Soft cap starts later. Interesting.
There's a rocket gain soft cap. Yikes. <laughs> See, there really is soft caps everywhere in this game. Like it's it's infested by soft caps. I have no idea where oh, I think I saw a soft cap somewhere. Yep. It's it's this is soft capped. Even though it didn't even need to be soft capped, it is soft capped. So uh yeah. And there's also the rocket effect. Oh yeah, this is the soft cap that I'm getting. So there's a rocket gain soft cap. There's the cadaver gain soft cap. Okay, I've, I've seen that one. Cadaver effect soft cap. Uh, haven't I, haven't I gone? Yeah, these are both soft capped. Yay. <laughs> there are soft caps everywhere in this game. So maybe I should get rocket gain as booster by our cadavers. It's, yeah, it's 5e4 times, which is pretty powerful because that allows me to get 21, maybe even 22 rocket fuel. And that, how, how much that can actually allow me to reach? I'm not getting a lot of pathogens. I'm getting a slight amount of cadavers, but because of the soft capped, I'm barely doing any, I'm barely getting anywhere with that. Maybe I should just get some time cubes. And yeah, I feel like I'm just gonna need more pathogens. I think it's slow just because um, I don't have a lot of pathogens. This costs a thousand. And, yeah, but you can just look at achievements here. This is reach E6 life essence. I actually can reach that if I want. There is E28 time cubes, time speed boosts pathogen gain at a reduced rate. That seems pretty good. Um, reach rank 50. Reach 5e7 cadavers. Cadaver gain is increased by 40%. Um, field bots interval less than or equal to 2 minutes. I think I'm close to that. I'm up to four. I'm down to four minutes. So maybe I'm pretty close. I'm not exactly sure how close I am, but I maybe fairly close. And then what else is there? Um, get one of each of the ten pathogen upgrades. Pathogen gain is two point five times faster. That's pretty good. And then what is this? This is the dark circle. So I'm, I'm guessing, at least for these achievement rows, it's just like an achievement row for each mechanic. So, so this is the um, pathogen achievement row. This is probably the dark circle achievement row. This is the infinity achievement row, whatever that is. And, okay, I have no idea what that is. There's stadiums. Uh... Okay, it seems like, yeah, there's a bunch of interesting stuff that is coming up eventually. But anyway, time cube gain is boosted by your cadavers. It's E5 times, so that's going to be pretty good. Now if I get time reverse, I think I want to get that E28. It's only one E28, just so I can boost pathogen gain, because yeah, it's right now it's 0.4 per second, and I'd like it to be a little bit faster. So... I barely need to wait at all. And I can look at the best ever distance, velocity, and acceleration. 3E39 universes. That's like, it's actually surprisingly, that's only, only E60 something, like 66 um, meters. Which is interesting because I would expect the numbers are to be a lot bigger at this point with this many mechanics unlocked. But here it is. Now I'm gaining 1.5 pathogens per second. So yeah, that achievement was very good. I'm glad I, I'm glad I got that. And um, I'm guessing I just keep gaining rockets. I don't see much else to go for. Maybe I can get one more of these upgrades, or maybe I just wait because I feel like this seems like one of the slower mechanics. I'm not going to call it a time-only mechanic, but a slower mechanic. I mean, I could try to wait until 300 pathogens. That should really only take two minutes. So two minutes is not that long. So I'll just wait this out. Also, I it looks like this is the achievement multiplier. So this is up to three times now. So yeah, that that's pretty, it's a good achievement reward. Is there any other good achievement rewards? There's this, but that's not really a lot good. Um, this does something, but it's not really all that 
a lot great. This one's very good, but I just need a lot of pathogens for that. So I think I just want to boost pathogen gain. I, c I can upgrade fuel bot a bunch though. Maybe I can get that down to two minutes so I can get the achievement. Uh, no, it's at not 2.5 minutes, but not two minutes. I guess I'll just keep getting these. I'm at E31 intelligence. Um, I don't know, this passenger game just seems a lot slower than it actually is, just because this game is usually very fast, and this is like a somewhat slower thing. So maybe I can look with the achievements here. This is, okay, something I have not unlocked yet. 1E140 universes, um, E160, not E160, just E60 rockets. Time is limited exists, more reward is 75% stronger. That would be extremely useful. But anyway, I am finally going to get boost pathogen gain. I boost it by three times. And interestingly enough, the upgrade is on only costs three and a third times faster. Or time times more. So I'm just going to wait this out, honestly. Okay, here I, here I am. I'm going to boost pathogen gain again. And let's see. This is going to be... Also, okay, it looks like this is a logarithmic, unfortunately, the effect, and then the cost is exponential, but at least this is now, I'm now gaining eight pathogens every second, so it's really good. I probably should get that. That's a cheap and easy upgrade. Same with even like this one, just getting a better time speed. Like, it's actually quite powerful because it's it's raised to a power. It's not just multiply. It, this raising to a power is actually quite powerful. No pun intended. And here we go. I should be able to get like maybe a 260, 270%, maybe even a 300% boost just from a little bit of pathogens. And this will allow me to gain, um, actually I'm, I'm close to the next rocket fuel. So I'm, I'm gonna gain that. And that should help. Let's see how, I'm up to E32 intelligence. I'm close. I'm getting really close to that two minute mark where I can get that one achievement. And I, I'm not exactly sure what I should do now. Maybe I should gain some cadavers because it does boost a couple of things like rocket gain and time cube gain. So I'll, I'll try that. Let's see how much. It's about 50% increase, but it's a little bit disappointing. I thought I'd do a little bit more. Maybe I'll I'm up to E30 time cubes. So, yeah, I feel like me at this point, I want to maybe go up to E31 and then not much more. And also the soft cap is starting to get really brutal. So, um, yeah, just gain E22 rockets, gain enough for 24 rocket fuel, maybe even 25 rocket fuel, just because why, why not? Because this, this will allow me to in more progression while I'm grinding pathogens. Anyway, it looks like I can get more of these. I'm not exactly sure what the, the best things to do. I think I'll do maximum velocity. It's a 5,000 boost, and that gives me the reach rank 50 achievement. So, yes. Now there's scaled ranks and scaled tiers. Whatever whatever that means. I don't, I don't know what it means by scaled, but they're scaled for some reason. So... Yeah, I can actually gain 26 rocket fuel and E33 time cubes just from that single upgrade. And I should pretty easily be able to get maybe the transfer from Cadaverse to Life Essence is more efficient. And I, I'll try getting that because let's see how much this is going to do. It's currently 40%. Life Essence on its own barely does anything. So yeah, that was not a good upgrade to get. Because, like, even with this, it's going to not do much. Like, I'm, I'm probably just going to get some cadavers here. Because that, that'll that help somewhat. And yeah, just E29, um, rocket fuel, probably just need to get a few more pathogens. Now up to a 12 times multiplier. Or not 12 times multiplier, but like 12 pathogens per second. I probably want to get up to 1,000 pathogens because... The rocket gain, time cube gain is pretty good to get here. So, yeah, back up to E33 time cubes. And 
um, 26 rocket fuel. Maybe we can even get 27 rocket fuel while I'm at it. Yeah, I, f I feel like that's a good thing to go for. And maybe with all of that, um, I will I have E35 intelligence. I'm getting very close to an interval of two minutes. I'm just not quite there yet. I'm just gonna. I'm also gonna keep getting interval upgrades for the other bots, and I think I just need probably like E37 or 38 intelligence, which is which I'm pretty close to. And yeah, I feel like I'm not exactly sure if I should go for these because it's not really gonna be all that useful. Maybe what I can do is I can gain some life essence. Not gonna do much, but it'll give me. Um, this achievement. So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna gain these cadavers, and um, just go time reversal. Just try to gain some quick cadavers, maybe, possibly, um, just so I can get maybe 10 million. I feel like feel like that's what I want to do at this point. And again, like 26 rocket fuels is good here, and then just grind up to. Um, or at the point where I can get 10 million cadavers, and then also it's good to like build up pathogens here because that allows me to keep buffing the time speed, allowing me to get more time cubes and then more rockets. Um, again, I'm going to go for 27, maybe even 28 rocket fuel, and E33, 34 time cubes. I don't think I don't think it's worth it to go for much more than that. I will go for the 28 rocket fuel, just because, even though I don't think the rocket fuel is really doing much at this point, I can see it's like raised to the 5.3 power, and it's about the same after the rocket fuel. So, yeah, I don't know why I'm, I'm so insistent on getting rocket fuel, but anyway, I think I'm just going to build up more pathogens, and then go on a spending spree next episode. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.